Well, it's summer and on these really hot days, you just don't want to fire up the stove or the oven for dinner. So our taste of the Ozark chef Nicole Young is here with a dish that could be an entree or an appetizer, but it's refreshing and it has summer flavors. It is summertime in the Ozarks and sometimes the last thing you want to do at the end of the day is cook a hot meal and this meal is so delicious. It is truly one of my favorites and has one of my absolute favorite ingredients in it. We are going to do a burrata tray tonight and this is perfect for an easy summer meal, a 4th of July cookout party, really just anytime you want to have it and it just comes together so quickly. So we're going to start with our base ingredient and that is burrata. Now burrata is a fresh mozzarella that's got a soft and gooey inside. We'll cut into this at the end, but the inside of this mozzarella is almost creamy and spreadable, and we're going to put that right in the center of our board. Now, you can pick up burrata at most grocery stores anymore in the area. It's an absolutely delicious ingredient, and I just can't eat enough of it in the summertime. We're going to start with the other toppings for our board here. So next, we're going to put some fresh strawberries on our burrata board. Strawberries have gone down in price, fortunately, which is awesome. And we are just going to slice these into kind of some thick slices and arrange them around our burrata. There's some sweet, some heat, and some savory to this board. It's kind of got every flavor profile you could possibly want there. And all of these accent ingredients just go perfectly with the main, which is your burrata. And once we've got our strawberries arranged around, we are gonna go ahead and add some super thin sliced jalapeno. If you're not a fan of heat, you don't have to add the jalapeno to this, but it also doesn't have to be super spicy, especially if you're using just some super thin slices and you kind of try to avoid the seeds in there because the seeds are what are gonna give you the majority of your heat. So we'll arrange some of these just right around here so you can get a little in every bite. The next piece is some fresh avocado. Now you want to make sure that your avocado is nice and ripe, but not overly so. And the best way to do that is to take a whole avocado and look right under where the seed is. And you want to make sure that that's not super dark black. You want it to be light green or light brown. You also want to be able to push into your avocado and have it leave that indention, but not have your finger just sink right through. So once we've got this cut into bite-sized pieces, we are just going to scoop this right out onto our tray here. And I kind of just like to arrange it right around. Have it be a little messy, a little artful here. However you want to do it is just fine. And then finally, we're going to put a little fresh herb on here. Now, basil goes amazingly well with everything that's on this tray. It goes well with heat, it goes well with sweet, it goes well with savory, and it always goes well with fresh mozzarella. So a little rough chop on some basil right over the top here. And then we're going to serve this with a nice, dense bread. I like a French bread here. And I like to cut it into just some rustic size pieces. It doesn't have to be super thin. You can toast this if you want to. For the purposes of this recipe, I'm actually not going to be toasting this bread. We're going to put it just all around the edges. And then finally, to bring this all together, we're going to give it a really nice drizzle of some really good, high quality olive oil. And then a sprinkle with some kosher salt. And then a little coarse ground black pepper. And at this point, you have a meal, an awesome entree, a great side for a barbecue. And we'll show you what it looks like when we cut into this burrata here. It's got this beautiful soft center that you see just kind of spills right out there and is nice and creamy. We can spread this right onto a piece of bread, add in some of our other ingredients on our plate here, have an amazing bite that just screams summer and is delicious and wonderful and just came together so quick without any heat or any cooking. Enjoy. We'll see you guys next time on Taste of the Ozarks.